Anthony Davis, or as he's affectionately referred to by his many fans, The Brow, is an American basketball player with an estimated net worth of $60 million. With that type of money, he's not only winning NBA playoff games, he's also winning at life. These days, he's said to split his time between two amazing mansions in LA. Born in Chicago, Illinois, David played his high school ball in the Windy City at Perspectives Charter School in Chicago. By 2011, he had become the number one prospect in the country and was scouted by athletic programs of all sorts like Ohio State, Syracuse University, and the school he ultimately declared to, the University of Kentucky. During Anthony's one season at Kentucky, his team would go on to win the NCAA Championship Tournament. By 2012, New Orleans drafted Anthony with the number one pick and he would go on to become a seven-time NBA All-Star and be named to the All-NBA First Team four different times. In 2015, Anthony signed a five-year $127 million contract with New Orleans that is set to expire with a player option this coming summer, or whenever the season finally ends. Guess we've already passed the summer at this point, haven't we? Free agency is a huge time in every athlete's life. Not only do they have to decide what team they want to play for, they need to figure out where where they want to relocate their family and spend the next handful of years living. Davis is a particularly interesting case study. Last year, while still under contract with New Orleans, he forced himself off the team after many seasons always ended the same way, in bitter disappointment. The Pelicans agreed to trade Anthony Davis to the Lakers for Brandon Ingram, Lonzo Ball, Josh Hart, and three first round picks. Anthony forced his hand and his agency got him treated to his destination of choice, the Los Angeles Lakers, to play alongside the GOAT LeBron James. Of course, it just so happens that Davis had also recently purchased a beautiful home in the Los Angeles neighborhood of Westlake Village, and that probably had something to do with LA being his destination of choice, right? It's an absolutely gorgeous home, but the kicker is, even when Davis is in LA, he's actually living it up at a home he rents in Bel Air for the tidy sum of oh, only 50k a month. Talk about having options. Hey guys and girls, it's Kara here for you with a brand new house tour. This one taking a look at the two different mansions of Los Angeles Laker and Robin to LeBron's Batman, Anthony Davis. With the Lakers making it all the way to NBA Finals for the first time in 10 years and getting ready to face off against Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heats, I thought now would be a great time to take a look at how some of these uber talented athletes are living. If you like these videos, keep your eye out for some more NBA star homes this week and turn on those notifications. For now, we've also done house tours on the likes of NBA legends Scottie Pippen and more and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. We're gonna kick things off with a home that Anthony Davis purchased in Westlake Village, California back in 2018 for a reported 7.48 million. This 15,734 square foot behemoth is a two-story property that sits on a 2.33 acre lot and is situated in the exclusive gated community known as North Ranch Country Club Estates. The home is equipped with indoor and outdoor security systems to keep the brow safe and sound while also sporting some smart home technology and solar panels as well. The outdoor features a deck with covered dining area for entertaining, low maintenance turf, and even a built-in trampoline. And one of the highlights for this property is most definitely its incredible $1 million infinity pool with its waterfalls and multiple water slides. Moving inside, this five bedroom, six and a half bath property was first built in 1996 and recently remodeled to cater to a more modern sensibility. Taking one look at this place, I'd say they accomplished that. The home was designed with an eye for contemporary Mediterranean style and features a grand two-story entrance with a nearby formal dining room adjacent to a chef's kitchen with double islands. In a nearby nook is also a beautiful little spot for breakfast or to enjoy your morning coffee. The living room is basically elegance personified. Cream-colored furniture complements a stone fireplace, marble floors, and multiple ceiling-to-floor windows. Further inside is a fully stocked library and state-of-the-art home theater system that looks every bit as nice as an actual movie theater. I mean, the thing even has a marquee to hang up posters for coming attractions. The fun doesn't stop there with this place. It's also got its very own games room with a huge flat screen TV, billiards table, and bar. Upstairs is the master bedroom with accompanying ensuite bathroom. The total square footage between these two rooms 
appears to be more than that of most apartments. I mean, I know Anthony Davis is a really, really tall guy, but the amount of space he has up here is just insane. This being the home of one of the best ball players in the NBA means that, of course, it comes with its own basketball court. And it's the type that spares no expense by the looks of it. The home also has its very own full service gym located on the grounds to get those reps in after working on your jumper all day. Now, as nice as this place is, Davis has shocked a few people in and around LA by recently listing this home and putting it back on the market. A few months ago, he listed it for almost $8 million. As I mentioned earlier, Davis is entering free agency when this season finally ends, which makes this a curious decision and has got Lakers fans sweating at least a little bit. But the truth is, Davis has more than one home he likes to crash at around LA, so I wouldn't worry too much, Laker fans. Just try and enjoy your upcoming 17th championship. Next, I'm going to give you a taste of the other home Davis likes to crash at while in town, a 12,000 square foot mansion in Bel Air. After getting traded from the New Orleans Pelicans, this was the home that Anthony Davis subsequently moved into. Davis is renting this $14 million, six bedroom, six bath home for around 50K a month. The main selling point of this home is most likely that it's only about a 35 minute drive from here to the Staples Center, where before the lockdown, Davis would be putting in the majority of his work. The pad has everything you could want as a basketball player, including a gourmet kitchen with bar seating and a living room that has more than enough space to chill out with your favorite video game of choice. What's up, y'all? Who says I don't have rings? Not too far away from there is a dedicated space for dining in its very own room, surrounded on all sides by windows to help create the perfect mood regardless of the occasion. There's also a gorgeous study with a fireplace of its own where Davis can conduct his business and quite possibly sign his next contract. The foyer of this home features a double staircase that winds upwards to the second floor that houses the multiple bedrooms this place has to offer, including the master bedroom, which features a marble fireplace of its very own. Towards the back of the home is a personalized gym that features sliding doors for access to the backyard, so Davis can switch back and forth between lifting weights and shooting hoops at a moment's notice. Oh, and don't forget about the pool with the accompanying spa. And just in case Davis is ever feeling lonely and looking for company in that pool, all he's gotta do is pick up the phone and give his teammate LeBron a call. The king's only about 15 minutes down the street, living in his Brentwood estate. While the odds are good that Davis will eventually re-sign with the Lakers once the season finally comes to an end, I do have to admit that his real estate holdings tell something of a different story in that regard. But hey, he's a young guy and he's probably just in the middle of shuffling everything around while he settles into the the next decade of his career, most likely spending it in Los Angeles. I mean, just wait till he signs that new sure to be astronomical contract with the Lakers. I can't even imagine the house he'll buy then. But rest assured, we'll be there to take a look when it happens. For now, I think we'll bring this video to an end. What did you guys think of Davis's two different homes? Which would you prefer to live at? As far as I'm concerned, there ain't no way I'd be giving up that pool at his Westlake Village home. It's way too nice. Maybe someone will buy it and turn it into an Airbnb. I mean, a girl can dream, can't she? All right, guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and feel free to chat more there. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye.